Hey okay, guys, what's up? Welcome back. So for today's video, I have my dearest friend, Caitlin, and we're going to be doing this silver smoky eye, the silver glitter smoky eye. I'm super excited. So I'm first cleansing her face with the Micellar Water by Simple. Now I'm priming and moisturizing her face with the Elf Hydrating um, moisturizer and the primer. I just mix those together to save time and it sinks into the skin faster. And I feel like it uh, does a better job at creating a really nice flawless face. So now I'm just moving on to her brows and brushing them out. And then filling them in with this e.l.f. brow pencil. It's not my favorite, but it gets the job done. And she likes more natural brows. Usually I go in with a dip brow, but um, like I said, she likes natural, so I went in with a pencil. Now I'm cleaning up her brows with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. And then I'm going to be priming her lids as well. Now I'm blending that out with the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Now I'm just setting it with the white shade that's in the Coastal Scents Smoky Palette. And make sure you set underneath the brow so there's no creasing there as well. The first shade I'm using is Oatmeal Tan and I'm using that as a transition shade. And I'm just going in with um, an e.l.f. crease brush to apply that. Blending that out a little bit. This is a Morphe brush just to really diffuse it. Now I'm taking Barista just to start, you know, darkening it up a little bit. I started on the outer V, blended it out, added some, and um, again blended it out. And then now I'm just going in with a black shade which is from the Smoky Palette by Coastal Scents, and I'm just going to blend that out, build it up, blend it, you know, go in slow so it doesn't look harsh and messy. And now I'm applying, there's a silver shade in the palette. It wasn't too pigmented, it wasn't really shimmery, but it's a nice base for the silver glitter I will apply. So I'm just putting that on half her lid, applying a little lash glue all over where we put the silver eyeshadow. And I'm going to be going in with the BH Cosmetics Silver Glitter. It's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It was absolutely stunning. And then I'm just going to repeat on the other eye. And I know it's looking harsh on the right side, but don't worry. We're gonna, we are going to go in and add a little more color. And I also did wet the brush before dipping it into the glitter just so I could pick up more and it would um, adhere to the eye a lot better. Now I'm just setting her brows with a little gel. I forgot to do that right after, but no biggie. They still look fine. For foundation, I mixed together um, the LA Girl Pro Coverage Concealers. I always end up having to mix them, which is why they're perfect to have in your uh, kit because, you know, you can mix them and you're going to have a lot of different clients with different undertones, skin tones, so it's really helpful. I really like that. I believe I mixed Fair and Light together, and I'm blending that out with the e.l.f. Selfie Ready Foundation Brush, and I'm just pushing that into her skin. I find when I would go in swirling motions, I would wipe off some, have to go back in, but pushing it into her skin made it apply really nicely and still give the same amount of full coverage. For concealer, I'm going in with the shade Light underneath her eyes, you know, all the normal places, her um, bridge of her nose, center of her forehead, and I'm making sure I apply enough underneath her eye. And then I'm blending it out with the same um, e.l.f. concealer brush. I just love blending out the concealers with brushes. I feel like I don't lose, you know, as much product. And I will go over with the beauty blender to pick up any excess. But I initially like to go in with brushes. Now I'm contouring with the first shade, I believe, in the ABH Contour Kit. She is pretty pale, so I want to make sure I use a cool tone bronzer. And I added a little blush, and I'm using the white highlight from the Carly Bible palette. Now I'm going in and applying a wing eyeliner. I totally forgot to do the wing before I did glitter, so it was very difficult. So just keep in mind, always do eyeliner and then go in with glitter. Now I applied a little mascara, and I'm using the Ardell Glamour 105 lashes. I use it all the time on my clients. It's just a perfect universal lash and looks so good with any eye look.
Now I'm going to go in with the Oktoberfest initially first on her lower lash line. And I didn't want it to be too smoky. I wanted her to have a nice pop of color, so I took Maroon Berry. I love adding a subtle pop of color on my clients. So Maroon Berry on the lower lash line. It looks so pretty. Applying a little lower lash mascara. For lips, she brought over her own um, liquid lipstick, but I, for the sake of the video, I wanted to just use my technique, which is with a wand. And this is the ColourPop Barracuda Ultra Satin. I'm just spraying with the Skin Fix um coconut mist oh and, and it smells so good right i love it like she said it smells absolutely amazing thank you guys so much for watching shout out to caitlin oh my god i look like a princess <laughs> what <laughs> you did such a great job Bri. Thank i you. love it you love 100 percent. 100 percent. i don't even have any constructive criticism give you i love it i'm so excited oh my god i'm happy you like it <laughs>